It could not have happened at a worse time. Creeks and streams overflow their banks and they flood local neighborhoods in the middle of the night. Homeowners are forced to jump out of bed and head for higher ground. But for others, it was just too late. They had to be rescued by boats. Luckily, things are looking a bit better this evening. We have team coverage for you tonight. Amy Waters with a look at the water soaked shaler area. But first, we start with Brenda Waters, who has more on the situation in New Swickley Township. Brenda? Hi, Rick. You know, this is a huge backyard. It belongs to the homeowner over there. But a few hours ago, I would have been standing knee deep in water as a result of. Brush Creek over there overflowing its banks. Even the ducks were nervous when Brush Creek began to swell over its banks. Don Masinic told me she didn't get much sleep, and there was good reason for that. It was scary because my house would be the first one to go. Okay. And yours is closest to Brush Creek? Yes. How high was the water when it was raining last night? Um, it was about 20 feet from my house. Masinic remained inside her home on State Route 989. Bill Moore, his family, and pets all left his house on the same road when he got this early morning call. I was in bed sleeping, and the New Swickley police called me and asked me how I was doing, and I told him fine. And he asked me how the water was, and I got, I said, I don't know. And I got up and looked, and I was like, uh oh, it ain't good. New Swickley police chief Ronald Leindecker says the heavy rain began to fall quickly around midnight. By 3.30 a.m., there were 911 calls from motorists trapped inside their cars and residents who needed to be evacuated and rescued from their homes. The fire departments were contacted through New Swickley. They requested assistance through the uh, Beaver Falls dive team to bring out boats to rescue the people on uh, residences on 989. No one was injured. Closed roads are now reopened. Everyone is back home. Kids are playing outside. But it's going to storm tonight, so we don't know if it's going to happen again. Now, Police Chief Ron Leindecker told me that he graduated from high school with Jeff Rosella. So, Jeff, if you are listening, the chief has a message for you. He says, enough already with the rain. Reporting live in News Weekly, Brenda Waters, KDKA TV News.